Uh, with the rates that my eyes are going, I would like written communication to be legible. Um, I have a better understanding uh, what readability is, uh, what reading, uh, what type and topography at reading at the reading edge means. Uh, you know, eight points at 40 centimeters, uh, and it does not really get much smaller. Or, and there's already so much stuff goes on there. It's really interesting, and. Um, just a, a, a trick uh, a Dutch uh, designer friend invented. If you want to see if the type on your website is too small, uh, put it on a phone, put the phone on a book, and compare it to the book. The book has good reading sizes that has been engineered, it has evolved over centuries uh, to uh, become a, a convenient, a comfortable object of reading. And our phones are not there. Everybody holds them like this because the type is too small. <laughs> and at some point, you know, these things will be outside of your range of focus and then you're in trouble. I've discovered with, uh, with uh, many friends and very smart people uh, that you can change font technology. You can build uh, uh, code, you can build editors, you can decide on formats, you can specify formats. Uh, and these things help uh, annoying usually are bugs or problems that need to be fixed in tools. Um, if it's your own tools, then the only annoying thing is that you might not have time or the understanding of solving them, but now that's, that's, that's just always there. Uh, really annoying if other people have to fix it for you and then they don't, because then you need somebody else's attention to continue with your work you know, and it's a distraction and that's, that's bad. I think uh, maybe what the, what the question could mean is what do we really want to see in type technology the coming years? And I think the upcoming uh, uh, interpolation variation thing is going to be very useful. And I think that might actually be um, one of the more profound uh, uh, changes the digital type might bring uh, to reading. Not just um, the ability to make narrower or wider or uh, fonts or, or no, have, have some of that, but to, because now most of the reading actually happens on screen, and that means that we can have interactive uh, meaning for these interpolations. Uh, a text might become aware that it's being read. You, know, you might have eye trackers uh, that look at your eyes when you read an ad, and the ad might say, oh, I know, I know somebody's looking at me, uh, and then change, uh, uh, do something with the topography. Um, Serious reading texts might also respond to being read. Uh, these are just um, the things that I think might be interesting. Uh, I'm fully aware that once this stuff starts being available, people will do completely different things with it. So I will not be disappointed if it doesn't happen. I mean, if this particular example doesn't happen, I think type will move and type will animate. Uh, it's getting there. There's a lot of conditional uh, uh, stuff uh, becoming available. Um, if the weight is more than this, then use that shape. Um, there is a lot of stuff already possible in GPOS and GSub. Maybe not enough for, for complex script uh, rendering, um, as we saw this morning. But um, really, ideally, uh, um, I think fonts should be fully fledged programming languages with variables and uh, um, um, logical structures and conditional things uh, where we could actually go back to what PostScript was in the, in the very, very early days or uh, something like Metafont uh, where you can just write code and make shapes. Um, it might not be very useful. Uh, it might because the tools that we have are very good already and allowing us to draw a uh, draw type. Uh, but I think it would be a lot of fun to uh, to have this ability.